the most disturbing things I have seen recently, and it's happening in many countries all over the world. There is a massive push to stop farmers from planting crops. They are actually paying them not to plant crops and to convert the land over to non-planted land. There's even discussions about making this mandatory, and they said to get us down to net zero emissions because farming somehow is producing uh, carbon. They were trying to say that when you till up the ground, it produces carbon, and it's just destroying the environment by planting crops. Now, all this is happening at a time when we are seeing record food prices. We are seeing massive inflation in food prices. People are faced with a serious situation. It's really going to be impacting the poor. They're talking about, sure, stimulus payments, increases in food stamps, but they're also trying to take millions of acres out of service. The federal government is paying farmers to slaughter and kill their stock and to sell their uh, crops so that they can plant GMOs, gen genetically modified organisms. These types of food are defiled and these types of foods are what's killing us. They're spraying pesticides over the fruits and vegetables. They're pumping food into the cows and chickens to make them larger. This is why our daughters are getting more, they seem older than they are. But the Bible is prophesied we would eat our food defiled. And I want you to just look at the world and see, especially here in America, how it's affecting us. And we are getting things like diabetes and cancer and um, various other ailments that are food related. So when the sisters talks about being killed every day, like I, gotta, I just got to read another scripture. I don't want to reference, I want to reference God so that you all understand that I'm coming from a God level and not a man's level. Revelation chapter 6. And verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest a little season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. I always say the first thought about being killed, we often think the knife or the gun. It's not just that. It's the food, it's the air. Remember what they did in Flint, Michigan. And Flint, Michigan and Detroit, they cannot sue the federal government. They poisoned the water with lead. And our brothers and sisters that live in those areas are dying slowly. So when you read about the saints dying or being killed, it's not just the gun. It's not just a knife 